Hello, fellow waterlust sailors. I'm down at the beach here and I've got Svada with me and I'm gonna do a little experiment for you. I've not done this, this is actually the first time I've done this. You'll notice some hatches down there. These are full, 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 full with water. Water ballast. Filled both of them up. I've just been out for a sail and it worked rather well. It was very nice, it was quite bit gusty, not super, super windy. Now what I thought you'd like to see is what happens if we tip this thing over. I'm not getting in it. I'm not going swimming for you tonight. But what's interesting here, okay, she's floating. That's on its side, completely on its side. Have you seen a waterlust do that before? Really wants to be upright. I'm gonna try again now and then maybe I don't want to get wet feet that's pathetic isn't it I'll let it flood I'll let it flood this time then we'll really get to see oh come on get off the beach that should work better right push it right out here Okay, so imagine you've capsized her. Look how far over she goes before she actually gets wet. This is very interesting. Wonder if we'll actually get her to fill up with water. Ugh. I might need two hands for that. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> She's floating, like, com oh. completely floating like that. Okay, how how much water is on each side? I'm not quite certain. And I don't have the big rig up. I've got Stumpy up. I only took took the little the little sail, but that's a hell of a lot more stable than how things were set up before. Martin calculated that there were 18 litres in each side tank. I suspect there was a little bit more. Um, I don't know how you measured it, Martin, if that was with um, filling it up with... Okay, come on. Let's see, are we gonna fill it with water? Oh, God. <laughs> hilarious. Okay, I was gonna fill it with water first and see if this helped. You get some idea about how the water lust floats on its side though. Anyway, I think that's gonna be a big help. There you go, what fun. Okay, now I've emptied the water ballast tank. You might recognize the way this rocks about like this. And that's, let's get the bow off a little bit further. Push her out and tip her on the side. There. Okay. Just sits there. I'm not touching anything. She's afloat. Mast is touching the, the floor. There you go. Completely stable. That's how, how far over she is. Let's see if I give her a little nudge. She comes up. But you see how she rocks like that. Right? Doesn't have that uh, interesting, the stability from the water ballast. Water ballast. We like. Very good. Happy with that.